It is high noon on May 25, 2011, and the Wednesday edition of the Daily Journal is upon the streets. Mike Fryer with Nicole Leonhardt. And Nicole, the day is only half over, but what an eventful day it's been. Tornadoes through the area, a home was struck in Pembroke Township. Fortunately, no one hurt there. Of course, you know, that wasn't a situation in Joplin, Missouri, where more than 100 were killed. But we're having some good news coming out of there, too. What's that all about? Yeah, it sounds like there's a, a clothing drive up in Mantino. Is that correct? Yes, Derek Denoyer, a local businessman from Kankakee, currently down in Joplin through his business. People link staffing solutions. They set up this clothing goods drive. So read about that on page A1. You can find out where you can bring things to help the people in Joplin. Yeah, so many of them lost so much, and you see all that destruction. It's great that we can get some supplies for them. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm getting tired of it, Nicole, is this weather in general. I want 85 degrees and sunny for three straight months. Is that possible? You know, it doesn't sound like it's going to happen real soon. Dennis Yanke has the forecast. <laughs> okay, now we're ready for the weather report here in the Daily Journal weather office. The uh, power wasn't really off here, but it was off in parts of Watsika, Sheldon, Iroquois, Donovan and maybe parts of Martinton. Uh, meanwhile, I can tell you that we're going to have a high of 80 today with a low of 56. Uh, strong thunderstorms still in the forecast. Tomorrow we'll only get up to 60 with a low of 52. And uh, I think these rains might last. Friday is only going to get up to 69. And uh, it's called partly sunny, but uh, I think partly cloudy might be a better description. So, uh, Let's get back to the newsroom now, and uh, I'm sure they've got more weather news, too. Nicole, we're back, and last night the Herscher girls soccer team, a dramatic 3-2 shootout win over rival Mantino to earn a state berth. Read the story, found something interesting there. The Herscher coach, Alan High, has a superstition. When the shootout to determine the game was taking place, he looked away from the field. He couldn't look out there. So today's Let's Rank Them today. I don't want to rank superstitions. What I want to rank is things that make you quickly look away, to quote Mick Jagger and paint it black. Can you think of three such things, Nicole? Pretty easily, Mike. Okay, let's do it. All right. Number three, you know when you've left something in the refrigerator too long and it's getting really funky? It's getting rank, yeah. Uh, I will sacrifice Tupperware so I don't Throw have to away. look at it. It's just too much, more That's, than I can take handle. Take that trash out right away, too. <laughs> Uh, number two, any sort of medical procedure, whether it's on TV or worse, in person. My parents had to take a, a pump out of my knee when I had surgery. I hit the ground like that. Gross. Can't do it. Number one, anything dead, whether it's roadkill, I can't really attend funerals. I have to like, ugh. Okay, yeah, I can see where you could look around away from that. That's a good lesson. Here's mine. Number three, a person vomiting. Oh, do I look away in a hurry. Because, you know, you feel like you got to vomit yourself once somebody's vomited around you. No way do I want to see that. I quickly turn away. Okay? Uh, number two, when, remember when you were a kid, you'd have some smart aleck kid in the neighborhood who was able to turn his eyelids in the sight now that it pink and stuff come. Okay, hey, Mike, turn around and look. I see that. Oh, God, I couldn't stand that. I would quickly look away. Number one, I'm like you. I don't like medical procedures. Watch them. Nicole, I'm the father of two children. I've never been a birthing coach, okay? I wasn't going anywhere near that room, all right? Call me what you want. My coworkers get on me about it. Uh, family's got about it. I'll help raise them once they're born, but I'm not going in that room, got it? If I do see it, like on TV, I quickly look away. I do not blame you, Mike. That uh -huh. is, ooh. That will do it for the news at noon. You can subscribe to the Daily Journal by calling 815-937-3322. You can also pick it up on the newsstands. And so until tomorrow... Stay informed. What does that say? Oh, yes. All right. Here's a good one. Remember when you were a kid?